Hello everyone, welcome back to Tales of Arise. So last episode we are on our... We're trying to make our way to the capital city of Ganataros, which is Peleglin, whatever the fuck his name is. Its name is... Alright. Let me guess, there are no guards. He's all alone in there. I'm guessing. Or maybe there are Zoogles and just him. And there are no guards. I don't think he needs guards anyway. Never mind, there is there there is guards. Fall run! Give me back my woman! Are you Alfin and his companions? Why would you think that? You are the only one scheduled to arrive, and there are no unscheduled arrivals in Ganatero. Oh wow. So I'll ask again. Are you Alfin and his companions? We are. Then pass. Lord Voron is expecting you at Castle Del Faris. He's challenging us. Well, suppose it's rather nice of them to roll out the red carpet for us. <laughs> Pelagion. Pelagion. Is it Pelagian or Pelagian? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> it's a city that we're gonna invade. That's all that matters. What do we do now? Let's see how things look around the city first. Then we'll make our way to the castle. Damn, the city's huge. Seven a city a city? It's raining. It's so depressing. It's like hidden cloud hidden uh, rain village. In Naruto. Not a slave in sight. Where is everyone? <laughs> That's a good sign. There aren't even any soldiers. Something feels off. I don't like it. Like the fact that the enemy could ambush us at any moment? Yeah, not crazy about that either. No, not that. Something else. That must be Volron's castle up ahead. I suppose we just walk right up to it then? That's what the guard from before said. Now if we only knew where they were keeping Shion, we could try to... That bit! Hmm? That weird feeling. It's not just that the city is empty. It feels like no one lives here at all. Maybe he likes... Now that you mention it, it does feel strangely... artificial. Think maybe it's a district just for the Renans alone? With all this open space? Seems unlikely. <laughs> maybe Voron likes... to be alone, you know? <laughs> he kicked out everybody. Everybody get out. This castle is mine. I don't care. Get out. <laughs> Okay, this is creepy. Hey, you guys, what's going on? Glory be to Gunnar Frost. What was that about? They were Danins, right? That wasn't normal. Wait, you don't think it could have been the fruit of Helgen, do you? No, they seem too docile. What about astral energy? Could you sense any coming from them? No, and I'm pretty sure I could tell if it was. If not that, though, then what? Speaking of which, it didn't look like there was anyone guarding them either. They were headed for the castle. Sort of guy, if it's like a wedding 
for a Voron and Xion forced wedding, I'm gonna be pissed. I get what you mean. It didn't feel like those folks are just commuting to work. The waterway they're floating on appears to lead to Del Forest Castle. If we follow it, we may learn more about what's taking place here. Okay. There's a skit. Man, the bizarre Pelagian. So, any ideas what the deal was with that boatload of weirdos? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. They looked like Dan and slaves, but beyond that... This city is grander and more beautiful than any other we've been to, yet... I know what you mean. From the architecture right down to the people, something feels off somehow. I've long maintained one can glean a lot about a ruler from their city. Considering how unsettling this place is, I'd say I wasn't far off the mark. Despite its surface layer of majesty, walking around inside, it feels more like a hollowed out ruin. I say we follow after that boat. If we're lucky, they might be in the mood to give us some answers. Yes, let's follow the weird boat. <laughs> nice boat. <laughs> Like in school days ending. Can I? Oh, I can't go in here anywhere. This place sucks, and you're not paying me nearly fucking enough to come here. <laughs> Alright. Pelagian level 2. Lord Vorlorn. Stronghold. Yeah. Let me check if there's any treasure going on. No. I've seen ghost towns that were more alive than this city. Where the hell did all the Danons and Renans go? Yeah, I see Exeriot more lively than this. <laughs> and that place is dead. Exeriot. Ah, <laughs> uh, look. I'm glad Alphen did not fuck up, you know? Like the way Luke did. <laughs> I mean, he killed a bunch of people in the past, sure, but that's his past. And he had no choice, right? Luke, on the other hand, he has a choice. He had a choice. To just completely ignore Van or follow him. Nope, let me follow him. <laughs> Beef. What is this? No good. It's a dead end. I don't relish our chances climbing. Or breaking through for that matter. They're windows, right? And yet this seems to be the only way inside. Take a look around. There must be a switch or something to What? What is it this time? Look! Over there! Too late. Please stop. You'll die. <laughs> Damn it. Volron is killing you. You need to run. Please get off the boat. <laughs> Say it louder, maybe they hear you. demonstration designed to provoke to prove to us no to Alfin just what he's capable of wow kidnapping Xion killing all those people if it's just me he's after then why hurt them why do all this just to get at me 
Because you're sovereign. Alpin, this is not your fault. Don't give this to him. It's not your fault. <laughs> you did nothing wrong. You did everything correct. <laughs> and I won't. My hands are stained with blood. But even so, if we're going to stop that bastard, then I need to keep going. <laughs> Your hand is stained with blood. Luca, blood be like amateurs. My sword is covered with blood, and I and you don't see me complain about it. <laughs> God, uh, I apologize if I keep bringing Luca blight. He's just one of my favorite characters of all time. Death March. You know what? I'm gonna say because why not? All right, skit. All of those people in the boats. Do you think they had any idea what was going to happen to them? They did a damn good job of concealing it if they did. If you ask me, the only thing on their mind was following orders. And I bet I can guess who from. Volron. The only thing they knew was mindless oppression right to the very end. What kind of purpose is that? Living only to die at your master's whim? Being a slave means having your whole life stolen from you. In the worst cases, quite literally. That bastard will get what's coming to him. I'll see to it he does. Let's kill him. Let's end the game. <laughs> yes, this is the final boss. Let's end it. We save Shion, everyone will be fine and, da and fine and dandy and happy. Live happily ever after. <laughs> is this what I think it is? Those people, they were all... He's sick. Sick and deranged. Remember this well. This is the true face of who we're up against. Just relax and play. Fear and loyalty. Still... If it's not fruits of Helgen he's using, then how do you think Volron goes about controlling all of them? They didn't look like they'd been threatened, but they didn't look like they understood anything either. It could be something else, like a potion perhaps, but frankly I doubt it. But that would mean they're following Volron out of choice? But why? Nothing bolsters a despot's authority more than loyalty. Loyalty is advantageous for any ruler. For Volron, it means acolytes willing to give their lives for him. As for whether they did it willingly or not, I'd say they're merely puppets dancing to their master's tune. But, to the point where they'd give up their own life force? Is that even possible? You just saw it for yourself. And think back to when I was your lord. If I'd asked you to sacrifice yourself for some cause, would you have? <laughs> Dawn. My apologies. My words got away from me again. <laughs> no, you're... You're absolutely right. The only difference being that you never demanded such a thing. You wouldn't. All lords are masters in the art of manipulating their subjects' hearts. Whether they use fear, torture, or various other methods. The outcome is the same. Yeah, but you're different. Fear. No wonder there's no remaining signs of a resistance force in this place. Yep. Fear is the best weapon. You think money is the greatest weapon? No. Fear. Fear and blood. <laughs> like uh, King Robert Baratheon would say. You think honor gets you to rule the throne? It's fear. Fear and blood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love that show. I sad that it ruined terribly because of fucking idiots. Dumb and dumber. <laughs> the
This looks like a chapel. Are they getting married? Something's not right. If they if he stole Xion's first kiss, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> came to save you. It's okay now. Shia? Oh. Lies. Oh, jeez. That scared me. A yandere. A yandere vibe for me. Thorns. This situation just got prickly. There's immense the prickly. Here. I'll say this situation got system. more weird. <laughs> yes, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, evil for evil. Technically, aren't we all alone? <laughs> but I also can't live. Ah, fuck Sion. you. Oh man, I need to buy a Panacea bottle here. I... I... Sion, we're coming for you! We'll let you down this time. Pain, I feel. How many thorns here? Wow. Open your eyes. Sion! Damn, Alfin. If that's not love decoration, I don't know what is. <laughs> How many of them are there? Jesus. Repenter. Okay, that was good. The thorns just keep growing back. If this keeps up, then please wake up, Sion. Come back to us. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm completely alone. You're wrong. Elfin! She thinks we left her all alone. She can't see us. Or hear us. All of this... It's because I pulled away from you. Because I couldn't hold on to you. Shion. Well, too. And Sara. And Doheling. And so am I. Damn. What are you going to do now? Are you going to hold her?
Hey, awesome. Finish this. I entrust this blade to you once more. <laughs> yes, just pull it out of my chest, please. Judas. Hey, Alfin. Hmm? What is it? While I was away, what did you do? <laughs> I missed you. Did you cheat on me? Alfin. But after what happened because of me. I got a glimpse of the real you. It was worth it. You could say the pain is some kind of reward some reward you sure all that hurt hasn't done something to your head too <laughs> hey now <laughs> is it just me or are they yep it's been a while they're just happy to see each other oh god you're dense i know i mean it's fine we all express ourselves in different ways leave them be they should get a room. <laughs> Xion has joined the party. Shaded Aster, a raven black rival that blends with the darkness of the night. Twilight One Piece. Alfin learns Blazing Pillar. Xion. Thanks. I'll be okay. You're not okay. Alright, let's check out your outfit here. I like that black one, it's so hot. God. But your white one is hot too. No. It's always loves it when you're back to your normal outfit. Anyway, your skill panel, please. Aha, uh -huh, I missed a lot. KO prevention. How the fuck you prevent KO? <laughs> uh, shit. Increase max age, astral gauge. Now, should I have her as my party member here? Because I feel like having two healers is better. But then again, I need to. What is your? What are you? What are you equipping right now? Fire damage, elemental attack. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, maybe I should just leave it like that. It's fine. Let's go. We have to take Volan out. Right. Those things that came out of Xion are her thorns, right? She said they're made of dark astral energy. She did. But those thorns are no astral art, and she cannot control them. Such immense astral energy, too. Hmm. Just what are her thorns, really, I wonder? I suppose she might have an answer. But is it it's a curse, talk? maybe? Like a, maybe because Nora, was it Nora? The girl who was in Alfin's fast, uh, helped Alfin get away. Maybe that's why they're, they cursed her and her family or something. That's my guess. Anyway, skip. So, the Sovereign, the Renes Alma, the fate of Lenegas 300 years ago. Yeah, oh, we actually tell her the, everything. That is a lot to take in, isn't it? 
I never realized the weight of the burden you were carrying. I could say the same. The person you kept mistaking me for. Nauri, okay. Not it? Nora. So, what do you think? Could I be her descendant? It seems likely. You two do look very similar. Kidnapping Shion, mistreating slaves, and who knows what other terrible deeds. Seriously? These so-called lords just think they can do whatever they like. I am deeply ashamed to be one of their kind. <laughs> no uh, worry. Sorry, my bad. I didn't mean you, Dohalim. Do you think Volron could have been behind what just happened with Shion's thorns? I'm not sure. If it was bait he needed, kidnapping her should have sufficed. Perhaps he had some other purpose in mind. Her thorns aside, as a hostage, surely it would have made more sense to keep her close at hand. So why did he leave her unguarded? If getting rid of Alfin was Volron's only priority, then he could have ambushed us directly. It's not as if he lacks the power. Yeah, he kicked our he ass before. To, which means he's toying with us, prolonging Alfin's suffering as much as he can. But why? What does Volron specifically have against Alfin? Is it because he's leading the Danon Rebellion? Possibly. But try to see it from Volron's perspective. He'd do anything to win the crown contest, correct? Knowing that the true Sovereign already exists somewhere is bound to ruffle his feathers. Have your paths crossed before, Alfin? Only when I've been with you guys. In the end... No, we met him before when mysteries. he was slaughtering the boars. What isn't a mystery is how badly we're gonna beat this creep up once we find it. But then again, we didn't really interact with him when we meet the first time. You are, Law. Yeah, gruesome memories. <clears throat> Way to give us a heart attack. I wasn't sure how that was gonna pan out for a while there. <laughs> I'm just glad everyone's safe. Really glad. What about you, Shion? How are you feeling? He didn't do anything to you, did he? The, the last thing I remember is being back on the ship. Back then. Seeing Alfin's pain return to him the moment he touched me. It brought me back to my childhood. The fear in people's eyes whenever they were around me. And the next thing I knew, darkness was welling up inside me. It was smothering me. I, I couldn't see anything anymore. I was all alone. Shion. You're okay now. You're safe, Shion. We're here with you. You're not alone any longer. Thank you. <laughs> You're not alone. Play the theme song. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's from Final Fantasy 9. One of the greatest game of all time. Alright, I'm gonna save. Because I can tell it's gonna be a boss fight here. Who are we fighting? I guess not. Never mind, I was wrong. Or maybe after this? Fast travel point added. Interesting. Oh. The Ferris Castle. Are they gonna welcome us or are they gonna fight us? <laughs> Must be Voron's Imperial Guard. They don't seem to be keeping lookout. More like they're waiting. Oh well, the royal welcome was nice while it lasted. Time to get our fists dirty, huh? Wait, we don't have a plan! As far as law is concerned, this is the plan. Let's go! <laughs> yes, just barge right in. Who cares? Open your eyes! This blind royalty is just another form of slavery. Glory be to Volron! Glory to be Volron. You're a weird guy, you know that? Yeah, now I can use the fire again! Rising Phoenix! God, I miss you so much, Rising Phoenix. Okay, this is getting annoying. Now I can use my Mystic Arts again. Scarlet Inferno! I miss you so much, Scarlet Inferno. Of course, now... 
I'm gonna be using a lot of uh, healing here. <laughs> you, break the shit. Lightning Tiger Blade. Rising Phoenix. Awesome. <laughs> well, that didn't feel great. Those soldiers were just like the slaves, driven by a warped sense of loyalty. Yeah. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Yeah. <laughs> it's strange. I always thought loyalty was one of the greatest virtues out there. Now I'm not so sure. Is it simply a question of where your loyalties lie? Or is it fealty itself that's the problem? Maybe it only becomes a problem the moment you stop thinking for yourself. So if we defeat Volron, you think they might learn to think independently again? Actually, no, never mind. This isn't the time. We can worry about that after we finish the task at hand and defeat Volron. As expected, Volron's elite guards are quite formidable. They wow, we have a lot of peach gel, huh? Ooh, treasure. Lemon gel. Alright, what else you got? Okay, there's nothing here. Alright, let's get Delpharis. A grandiose castle for a grandiose city. You really didn't cut any corners. They're certainly akin to each other. And yet, I'd say the castle Yeah, this castle is too depressing, like just like him. <laughs> In what way? It feels overbearing and tyrannical almost, but more than anything, merciless. As if any pretense to ease of living was sacrificed in favor of sending a message. One of domination and a thirst for total power. In other words, the perfect domicile for our power-crazed foe. <laughs> That's why he let us in. It's precisely the message he wanted to convey. Almost like he's mocking us. That bastard's in the mood to play? We'll see who's laughing once we've taken him down a peg or two. Damn right. The blazing sword revitalize. <laughs> is it just me, or is the blazing sword burning even more brightly than before? Yeah. It's I burning it hot, energy hot, energy hot, hot, hot. <laughs> more powerful somehow. It would appear Alfin has learned to harness his sovereign abilities to even greater effect. Is that true, Alfin? I, I'm not sure. I don't think I'm doing anything differently. You're not. It's proof of your strengthened bond with Xion. No further explanations needed. Oh man, for real? Nice! Is that true? How am I supposed to know? <laughs> Fat lot of good the two of you are! <laughs> I may have a theory or two I could offer. Yeah, no. I think <laughs> Now that you mention it though, I guess I have noticed a change. It's like there isn't as much resistance when energy is being siphoned from my master core. Aha! So it is a bond thing! Aw, you guys! Wait, what about your hand? That thing practically used to give you third degree burns every time you wielded it, right? Zara's got a point. And if it's gotten even hotter since then... I won't lie. The searing heat and pain are almost unbearable. Almost. I'm fighting, I'm somehow able to endure it. It's like the sword becomes part of me or something. Like I can feel it pulsing through my chest. I can't describe it. Well, it, you, you pull it out of your girlfriend's chest, of course. More powerful than even that of the sword. Fascinating. Yeah, take it from our resident poet laureate. All right. I'm gonna end the part here, that way we have the rest of the part, next part, exploring this place and probably kill that bastard. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you guys very very soon. Stay safe everyone, later!